On September 14, 2019, Knoxville Police Department responded to a distressing scene at a home on Balsam Drive in Fountain City. There, they discovered five-year-old Destiny Oliver with a gunshot wound to her chest. The child was quickly transported to the University of Tennessee Medical Center, but despite the medical team's efforts, she was pronounced dead. While at the hospital, Howington exhibited suspicious behavior regarding her cell phone. She refused to give it to the police and attempted to discreetly hand it off to another woman in the bathroom. When the phone was recovered by the officers, it was found to be wet and non-functional. Howington later admitted to intentionally damaging the phone, running water over it in an attempt to destroy evidence that she believed could incriminate her in drug dealing activities. Howington later claimed that her two-year-old son was responsible for firing the gun, and then also mentioned a struggle with Destiny's father during which the gun went off. Nevertheless, security camera footage from a neighbor played a pivotal role in the investigation. It showed Howington hiding the gun under a bush immediately after the shooting, contradicting her initial denial of tampering with evidence. Investigators also found her claims implausible, such as the assertion that her son used a stool to reach up into a closet to get the pistol. Furthermore, it was revealed that Howington had pulled a gun on Destiny's father during an argument two days prior to the incident. As the trial commenced, a complex picture of the mother emerged. Prosecutors moved to establish a pattern of deceit and evidence tampering by Howington, while the defense focused on portraying her as a distressed mother with PTSD who was in a state of shock during the initial police questioning. The prosecution presented the security footage and testimony to counter Howington's claims, while the defense filed motions to suppress her statements, claiming they were made involuntarily. Additionally, there were allegations of mistreatment by KPD investigators that added another layer of complexity to the case. Throughout the trial, Robin Howington has maintained her innocence in regards to the death of her daughter, insisting, I did not kill my baby. She has also repeatedly stated that Destiny would not have been shot if her father had not come to the house that night. The defense has worked to support the narrative that the shooting was a tragic accident. Conversely, the prosecution has highlighted the inconsistencies in Howington's stories and her attempts to mislead the investigation. They have also pointed to evidence such as messages about narcotic sales found on her phone, which may suggest additional motives or factors at play. During the trial, conflicting accounts emerged from Howington regarding the events of the night Destiny Oliver was shot and killed. Initially, Howington claimed that an unknown man had entered the house and shot her daughter before fleeing the scene. She later changed her story, accusing Destiny's father of the shooting. However, evidence presented during the trial indicated that Howington herself had hidden the gun used in the shooting, and eventually confessed that her two-year-old son had found the gun in a closet and accidentally shot Destiny. The prosecution argued that Howington's actions were completely preventable, and emphasized that she had made attempts to hide the gun after her daughter's shooting. They contended that Howington's negligence and deceitful behavior were significant contributing factors to the tragic event. Judge G. Scott Green, in delivering the sentencing, emphasized that Howington was not the victim in this case and cited multiple, glaringly obvious, factors that influenced his decision. He noted that Howington's attempts to hide the gun and her fabrications about the incident were enhancing factors in her sentencing. The sentencing of Robin Howington to 22 years in prison marks the culmination of a tragic case that has deeply affected the Knoxville community. The details surrounding the shooting death of Destiny Oliver have sparked widespread attention, prompting reflection on the responsibilities of caregivers and the devastating impact of neglect and deceit in cases involving young children.